Good morning guys. So it's about nine o'clock. Just finished my cardio Saturday morning. Today is meal prep day. Today is the day that we do 90% of our cooking. The goal is to have all the cooking done today. So tomorrow all we got to do is weigh measure and fill prep containers for everybody to come pick up. So yeah, let's get started. So I am just getting back from the grocery store. I had to go pick up a couple more things, but I do find it incredibly funny that here in South Mississippi, when people see a shopping cart full of nothing but healthy items, what's that? How do you cook that? Oh, well, you must be healthy. Really? Like there's all organic produce in my cart and you're gonna ask me if I'm healthy. But I did have a good conversation with one diabetic. Um, she was asking me how to do this, how to do that. And another guy, older gentleman approached me, goes, is that butternut squash you got in there? Yes, sir. What do you do with that? So I told him my recipe, hopefully it helps. Um, but I decided today to grill my vegetables and focus, there we go. Decided today to, gr uh, decided today to actually grill my vegetables instead of putting them in the oven. Gonna give them a little more flavor um, and I'm just gonna flash grill them so they don't get soggy as the wheat goes on in the meal prep. So I'm gonna show you guys that in a minute. So I am actually cooking my chimichurri sauce right now. Um, it's a new recipe that I wanna try. I think it's gonna be really exciting. The reason I wanna do this recipe is because one of my big things when cooking is I love cooking with a lot of flavor. One easy way to bring a lot of flavor is to use fresh herbs. So a chimichurri sauce basically is that. So you're getting all those flavors um, so it's not something boring. It's nothing, not a just dull way to eat chicken. Um, it's really good with steak. It's really good with pork, but I'm using chicken just because it's leaner and that's what my clients want. But one of the other benefits of cooking with fresh herbs, ton of antioxidants. I know a lot of people are on these antioxidant pushes right now with the blueberries, the acai, and just all those tons of different gimmicks out there. Eating with fresh herbs is one of the best ways to get antioxidants in your system and it flavors your food, so why not use them? It's a little more time, it's a little more effort, um, but always, always worth it. Why not bring a ton of flavor with a health benefit to it? Um, so I'm fixing to get this chimichurri sauce going. I'm actually throwing a lot of fresh herbs into my marinara sauce with the, veg with the uh, meatballs. <clears throat> so cooking with a ton of fresh herbs this week, um, just because it's a way, very low calorie way to bring a ton of flavor to food. Um, and I took a picture, I'll put that in there for you right now. But yeah, so cooking's going really good. I'm a little behind this week just because I got off to a slow start this morning. Um, I don't know why, but just kind of, well, I just didn't have, some, didn't have the energy. But feeling good now, um, so gotta make up for some lost time. Got the spaghetti squash in the oven, about to start cooking and chopping up all my vegetables. So let's rock and roll. Thank you guys. Is my Thank you guys. All right guys, it is Sunday morning, bright and early, 8 a.m. Just finished kind of doing some email stuff like that, but it is time to finish meal prep for the week. Really excited about some of the dishes. I think they turned out really good. Let's get started. I mean, how good does that look? I know the chicken's raw, yes, but look how colorful that is. Look how many fresh herbs are in there. This is gonna be a very good tasting recipe. All right, so yesterday, Jeff actually came over and helped me grill a little bit. My mom did her thing with pancakes today, but probably the smoothest, most efficient meal prep I've done so far. I'd like to think it's because I'm learning every time that I'm getting a little more efficient, but it also helps to have help. So thank you guys for helping me out this week. We were actually done with over 200 meals by 3 p.m. So definitely good there. Now I've got a couple things to wrap up and clean and I will be done going to Jackson tomorrow to deliver more meals, but successful prep. Thank you guys so much. Tick, tick, tock, the time bomb clock. Ticks grinning, yeah, till we're here, baby. Tick, tick, tock, the time bomb clock. Ticks counting down. Tick, tick, stop. You know Alright guys, 
so I'm down here at the beach. I just, having one of those days I had to get away and I had to kind of come clear my head. Um, been really busy, but just want to share a few thoughts with you first um, before I get back to the gym and some work later. But been talking with a lot of friends and a lot of people that I've been working with. And one of the big things that everybody always talks about is excuses. They make them, then they say, I can't do this because of that. And everybody always talks about don't make excuses, don't make excuses, and everybody always makes them anyway. And if you know me, you'll know that kind of one of my big beliefs is I don't believe in making excuses unless you want to actually fix the problem. So that's what I try to get people to do is, hey, I don't mind you complaining to me. I don't mind you coming to me with something negative, but if you're gonna do that, let's fix the problem. Let's actually reverse engineer and come up with a solution for that problem you're having. But one of the things that I want to make a point today, and it's something I've been struggling with, but at the same time I've been dealing with, actually trying to get past, is in business, in anything you wanna do in life, you're surrounded by people. And people often, if you let them, can influence the outcome of what you're trying to accomplish. For me and my business, I love working with people because I'm a people person. I love bringing minds together to create something bigger. But at the same time, I made the mistake in the past of depending on people for my success. And I realized that I can't do that. I realize if I'm gonna be successful, it's up to me. And I can make excuses, well, this person skipped out on this meeting or this person didn't do what they say they're gonna do. I can make all the excuses because I do like to depend on people. But at the end of the day, it's up to me. If I don't hit my numbers, if my business doesn't grow the way I want it to, it's my fault, okay? No one else's fault. Even though I might have been depending on them, they might have been there to help me, it doesn't matter. It's still my fault at the end of the day. So as I'm going into this week's meal prep, my numbers are not growing anymore. This is gonna be the second week in a row I'm not growing. And you know, every week for the first almost two months, my growth is doing this. And it was amazing. You know, I started quickly getting more demand than I could actually handle. But for the last two weeks, and it's not because the product's bad, it's not because of anything I'm doing wrong, but people are traveling, there's vacations, there's family things, there's all this stuff going on. So what I gotta do is, I can't just sit back and wait on my business to grow because of referrals and because of word of mouth and because of all this. I have to actually go out there and make my business grow. I know when dealing with the people business that you're gonna have ebbs and flows of people coming in and going out of your business. That's just part of it. I know that if I want the growth pattern to look like this, then I've gotta continually bring new blood into my business. And I've gotta continually produce new fresh clients because I know if I can get them in, they'll love the food. So that's not a problem. My prep services have proven themselves where the quality is there. Now I just gotta continue bringing in a new group of people to make sure that, hey, if five of my clients go out of town, well, I've got another five to make up for that. So that's the point of what I'm trying to get to you today is don't make excuses. There are no excuses. You know, we can say this, that, and the other. And one of my good friends reminded me, he's like, hey, bro, everyone makes choices. I was like, so true. Like, ah, you know, I'm making the choice right now to not do some of the things that I could be doing for marketing because I'm doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And I'm kind of scatterbrained because I'm doing my meal prep business along with everything else. But if I really want my meal prep business to grow like I think it should, then I've got to concentrate there. I've got to put my focus on that. And I know if I do that, then I'll see the success that I want to see. But I've got to quit making excuses. Oh, well, you know, I had clients go out of town, that's why my sales are slow. Okay, well, go find new clients, you know? Oh, well, this person normally orders 20 meals, now they're only ordering 10 for me this week. Okay, well, you should have had two more new clients to make up for that decreased sales. It's as simple as that. I'm in the people business. Yeah, I'm serving food, 
but at the end of the day, my job is to create value for those customers. My job is to create happy customers, okay? You know, I've had people tell me, well, if you lower your price point, then maybe you can get more people in. Well, I don't think so. Because to me, and I love the saying, price is only an issue in the absence of value. Okay, so I'm gonna continue bringing the value. I'm gonna continue bringing a meal prep service that is gonna deliver big portions and even bigger flavor. That's my goal with every prep I put out. Uh, this past week was really successful as far as the meals that I put out. They're very tasty. I even had my dad over for lunch. He enjoyed it. So the product's there. It's my job now to introduce my product to the people. It's my job to do the marketing. It's my job to do the sales. No one else is gonna do that for me. Yeah, I could use some help in the kitchen with all the back end stuff, but it's my job. It's my brand. It's my company. I'm the one to start this thing. No one else is doing it with me. So it's my job to go out there and make this happen. Okay, there are no excuses. Look, it's a beautiful day. I'm breathing, I'm living, I'm walking. Okay, I have no excuses. The only excuse that I have is I haven't done it. Like I have not physically gone out there and made it happen, okay? So I've already started making marketing calls. I'm gonna run a birthday special. I'm gonna do some different things I think might help me grow this business because this is my baby. Like I, I love this business so much because for me there's nothing more rewarding than delivering meals to a client and then reporting back to me. Man, I love this. Man, it's making me lose weight. You know, I've probably got, I would say at least 30% of my clients right now, probably closer to 40, that have lost over 20 pounds in two months. That's crazy. The success stories I'm hearing from my meal prep is blowing me away like I did not expect. I figured people would lose a little bit of weight. I did not expect to see this kind of results. Okay, so I'm having success with people's health. On the other side, people are loving the food. Like the flavor's there, the quantity's there. They're loving the food, especially the pancakes. Jeez, I can't make enough pancakes. Um, but, you know, if those are there, if you're having success with people losing weight, and you're having success with the quality of the product you're putting out, the only thing that's separating you from the growth you want is letting more people know that. Letting more people know the success you're having and the quality you're putting out. That's the only thing stopping me right now. So it's my job. What is this saying? I'm trying to remember the saying. If it's gonna be, it's up to me. I think that's how I probably butchered that like crazy. But that, you know, that saying that I keep saying in my head, if it's gonna be, it's up to me, okay? I have to go out there and make it happen. So it's about 5.30 now. I'm gonna go to the gym. I just finished a session with Anthony Anderson getting this crazy shoulder work done. I told you yesterday how brutal it's been hurting me. And honestly, like just one session, wow, dude's incredible. So I'm gonna get my shoulder break today, go work out legs, um, and relieve a little bit of this tension that's got built up inside of me. Um, but I just wanna leave with that today, guys. No excuses. Don't depend on anyone else for your success. People can help you and guide you along the way, but ultimately, it's up to you.